America is a very popular destination. I'll give you that. Even during the financial crisis, it is still one of the most attractive places for immigration, especially amongst Chinese people who have the means to leave the country. But perhaps it is also because it is such a popular destination for the rich and powerful that America has seen a rise in the number of spoiled rich international students, a good percentage of which come from mainland China. Now, the latest news to involve a Chinese student in America is that of Xu Yichun, a 19-year-old young man who was caught speeding in Seattle going 70 miles per hour in a 30-mile-per-hour zone. He ran a stop sign and crashed his Mercedes C350 into another car driven by 25-year-old Brenda Gomez, who was driving a car full of teens to a birthday party. The result was pretty tragic. Although there were no fatalities, Gomez is currently on life support. And to make matters even more complicated, the Chinese teenager may be in the country illegally and was driving without a license. Now, prosecutors were afraid that if he were to make bail, that he would flee back to China, and so they raised his bail to $2 million. Now, the vast majority of Weibo users condemned the teen's action, and many contributed his reckless nature to poor parenting, and many assumed that he must be a second-generation rich, which in China has a bit of a derogatory meaning, which often is associated with extremely spoiled children that have no respect for the law or other people. Now, others speculate that to have the audacity to drive without a license and to be in a country illegally must mean the child is a son of a Chinese government official, since there is a widely held belief that the rules tend to bend for those with power, so perhaps a teenager grew up being taught that rules don't always apply to him. Either way, there is a gamut of different responses on Weibo to the accident, so let's take a look at what people had to say. The evil second-generation rich, not only do they harm people in China, but they are also going to other countries to commit crimes abroad. A 19-year-old idiot. This is the result of our education system. It doesn't work, especially not on the second-generation rich and the second-generation officials. They are all a menace to society everywhere. That's America, not China. You need to use your head before you do something stupid because your dad won't be able to bribe his way out and bend the rules for you, idiot. Just watch. Maybe his parents will fly down to America and try to bribe the victim's families. If they do, you know that I called it first. Reckless driving by young affluent Chinese teens seem to be a big problem these days, not just in Western countries, but also in China as well. Now, there was, of course, the infamous case that sparked the Chinese meme, My Dad is Li Gang, in which a young man who was driving under the influence of alcohol killed one pedestrian with his car and severely injured another. And when approached after the accident, he defiantly claimed, My Dad is Li Gang. His father was the deputy police chief of the northern district of the city in which the accident took place. Now, other accidents include a fatal car crash that happened in Beijing earlier in the year that involved a supercar and the side of a tunnel that claimed the lives of one man and two young female passengers. And another case happened in Singapore. Again, a wealthy Chinese man speeding in a sports car and an accident that claimed his life as well as the life of his mistress. Now, I'm not sure how his wife will feel about that. But it is definitely a growing problem, and although China exports a lot of goods to the rest of the world, reckless drivers should not be one of those things.